Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to today's vlog. In this video, I am not exactly doing a market prep, even though I do have a art fair coming up this weekend. I did not realize it was coming up so quickly this weekend, but luckily there is not too much to do to prep for that. But I did, however, just get in some more transfers and sweatshirts to make more ghosts because I did sell most of what I have already. So I wanted to have a few more on hand for this. So I will be doing that, but I also ordered some new designs that I am just kind of going to test out for my winter collection. I have a couple of sweatshirts in here. I was going to make one for myself and just kind of see how the colors go together. If I like it, the prints came out okay. And we're going to give that a little test run. So I am going to open those now because I am anxious to see how the transfers came out. And I'm going to open up the shirts because I do have to make more ghost sweatshirts before this upcoming event this weekend. So let's do that. Oh my gosh, they are so precious. Okay. So here is a look at the winter design. I'm going to put these on sweatshirts just like I did with the ghosts. These will go up in the corner. And then I also made this little, can you see it? Sleeve detail. I think it's going to be so cute. I can't wait to see how this comes out. <laughs> okay, what do we think? This is actually, hang on. So this is the design for winter. I think I love it. And it also has this little detail on the sleeve. I love sleeve details. I did it on my ghost and I wanted to do it again with this one. So I was just kind of doing a test run because I wanted to see how the color, I wasn't sure which color sweatshirt to put it on. And I found this one. I thought this was a pretty color. And I thought it would be good for winter. It seems like gray and wintry, you know? So, <laughs> so what do you think? I, I really like it. It's nice and soft. I only ordered two sweatshirts. I have a bunch of transfers because I was really hoping that they would come out good and I had extra space on the sheet. So I did print a bunch, which I can use to just order more sweatshirts. And then I will already have some transfers but I think I will need a little bit more. I did apply to two winter markets, so I'm hoping to get approved for those. Once I get my approval for those, then I will order some more. The transfers I can always use on other things, um, or I can just make like a limited stock on my Etsy shop, but I was kind of hoping to have them to sell in person and then also on my shop. But um, my sales are pretty low on my shop right now, so I don't want to just stock up just for that with too many, but I do have transfers that I can make if I would like to. So I did this. This one is for me. I'm going to keep this one. I have one extra sweatshirt. And then I also ordered, when I opened the box last night, I was looking at this color and I was like, that is not what I was expecting. Cause this is what I was expecting, but these were buried underneath. Um, and then I remembered that I ordered, uh, one for my girlfriend's daughter and one for my daughter and I wanted to make some for them. So I didn't do the sleeve detail just because I even thought like it might've been too big for like an adult size shirt, but I actually think it's okay. I think it's fine. Um, but I, I wasn't sure. I think it would have been a little too big for the kids sleeve. I just think it would have taken up too much space and might've been a little awkward. So I left that part off. I might, I might put it on, but I don't think I'm going to, but anyway, so this is a little bit darker. They didn't have this color in kid sizes. So I went with a little bit darker, but yeah, when I first opened the box, I was a little confused. I was like, this is just like a dark Heather gray. This is not what I, this is not what I was thinking. Uh, but I, I'm glad I found these, but, um, yeah, so I'm going to send this. I actually have her birthday gift, so I'm going to send 
this down to her. She lives in uh, another state. So I'm going to mail this out today. And then I also made a ghost sweatshirt for my sister. We're going to go mail that out today. <sighs> she is in North Carolina and just dealing with all the hurricane stuff that's going on down there. So I thought this might cheer her up a little bit because I know she really liked the ghost sweatshirts. So I made some more. I'm going to send one down to her. And yeah, so this is it. I've also designed um, two notepads, which I've not printed notepads yet. So that would be new, but I've been wanting to. So I used this to design that as well. And then I have a little bow also that kind of also has these like extra details. So I'll show those to you guys in a few minutes, but um, I made a notepad for like with the fox on it. And then I made one with the bow on it. And I think they look so cute. I've also designed two bookmarks and I think I'm going to do a greeting card as well. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do two. Mm, I'm not sure. But again, I'm waiting to see if I get accepted into these markets before I go crazy ordering things. And then if there's no space for me in those markets, then I have all of this extra inventory, which as you know, if you've watched my previous videos, I'm trying to currently clean out the inventory that I have. So as much as I always say, I'm not making more for, <laughs> for the next one, I always end up making something, but I, I was really excited. I want to try and make like collections of things like, like this little winter collection, um, I did my little ghost collection for the fall and I would kind of like to use that trend I guess, or not trend. But I would kind of like to do that moving forward. Like maybe in the spring, I will come out with, you know, another little different collection and then still have like art prints and stuff on the in-between. But um, I do want to shift my products a little bit. I definitely want to do some more block printing. I just, I've been like craving to do it lately. I haven't really had time, but I would love to come out with some more block print designs. So that's in the future. Anyway, I'm rambling now, but just wanted to share this with you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I love this. So cute. Anyway, one more look and she's really cute. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pack up some boxes. I'm going to mail out a few things and run some errands and, and then we'll see what we do next. Here are the bookmarks and the notepad designs that I have. So I made this little bow and again, I used like the same little elements. And then I have this little fox. It's so cute. It's the same as the sweatshirt, obviously. But um, yeah, so I just kind of used again, the same elements to kind of tie them together. And I put them on like a lighter gray background. And then I used the same for the notepads to go with them. So you could kind of get them as a set or or separately, but that is it. I have those two. I, like I said, I haven't ordered them yet because I'm waiting to see if I get into these two markets. Hopefully I will. And we can make these because I love them so much. In the last clip, I was just showing you my setup for my table this past weekend. I did participate in an art crawl where they had some artists and vendors set up all down Main Street on different corners and things like that. They had some live paintings and drawings and things like that. So it was a lot of fun and I didn't have high expectations. However, we actually did pretty good. So it was really nice. It was a beautiful day, which totally helped. And it was so windy though. My setup, if you could tell from previous videos, was nothing like my normal setup. I started setting up, but the wind literally broke my big wooden displays, like my heavy ones. So we could not use those <laughs> because they were broken but also because I didn't want it to like fall and hit somebody after the wind had already knocked it over and took like the whole display and table with it. So I decided to 
downsize. I was like really upset about it because like I was telling my husband, like you can't even see my art prints. I actually had them on the table just as I store them in like my little hay crate thing that I have that I just keep them all in. And then I usually put them all out so you can kind of see all of them. Um, but I left them in the bin so that people could just flip through them because otherwise they would not have been on the table. They would have just blown away. And the cards too, I had to keep all of them stacked together. The bookmarks, instead of having them each in their own little compartment, I put them all into one holder into the three slots and people were able to just uh, look through them. I really had to downsize on my display, which at first I was really upset about, super disappointed and wondering like, should I just eat this and go home? Because I'm not sure if there's a point in me being here. I was super nervous for my glass tumblers, obviously because they're glass. So I ended up putting my little rack inside of a wooden crate that I, that I would normally use for like putting my shirts in or something to kind of make that look like a little bit nicer, but we had to just kind of go with what we could do. So super downsized. I was so disappointed, but it ended up being a really good day and we definitely made some good sales and people took the time to look through things and they wanted to see what I had. And it was just, it was really, really nice. So I'm so thankful that I participated, got accepted to, was part of that event and yeah, really, really good stuff. So I'd seen this craft on Pinterest a few times and been dying to do it. I thought it looked so cool and it was creating those. I just showed you little ghosts and then using Mod Podge to attach like napkins or tissue paper, whatever it is that you have onto them. And then they're just like flowery. So my little one and I, the other day, we played with clay. I grabbed some just air dry clay from Michael's. I didn't film us doing it. We were just kind of having fun, but I made three ghosts like I just showed. And I started with one yesterday. She made a, she made a few projects out of clay too, and did some Mod Podge all on her own, which was so fun. She has a few pieces here and we were just kind of letting them dry overnight, but I do want to finish up these other two because I think this came out so cute and I have two more, two more to do. So I'm going to work on those and then I will show you the final result. I've finished the decorating. They are still wet. So I'll give you a little quick turnaround. As you can see, the clay craftsmanship is absolutely not its best. I want to say it's because this is air dry clay and I've never used it, um, but I got a lot, like a lot. Can you see that? A lot of cracking. <laughs> But these were just for fun. And like I said, I was doing this with my daughter. So we were just kind of having fun. And these were not meant to be perfect. And I am telling myself that all the little cracks and imperfections, like this one, you can see there's a lot in the face of this one. But they're still really cute. And 
I like them. I'm going to use them. I was supposed to be able to put a tea light underneath them so their little eyes would glow, but I don't, <laughs> I don't think that it's going to fit underneath them. I think this, this one here, this one might, might be okay, but I don't, I don't think so. But either way, they're still really cute and I will insert a little snap of them when they're all dry, but that's it. We're going to call this done. So we have a day off today and I wasn't really sure what I wanted to get done off my to-do list. So my husband suggested that I take a ride over to Blick because I still have a gift card from Mother's Day that I've been holding on to. I've had a few ideas over the past few months like of different things that maybe I would want to pick up with it. But in this moment, I can't think of anything in particular that I needed. So I think we're just going to go inside. We're here now in the parking lot. I think we're going to go inside and just kind of walk around. I figured I could take my time. There's no rush. It is like a half an hour plus away from me. So I don't get to come here too often. So I do try to be strategic, but not this time, I guess. <laughs> so let's see what we end up with, what we can find and what moves us. So let's go ahead inside and, and see what we can get. All right, so here is what we got at Blick. So first off, I got these two little sketchbooks. So this one is a Stillman and Burn. This is the Zeta series. It says it's good for dry and wet media, watercolor, which is what I wanted it for, and ink. So I've not used the Data series before, but I have used their Beta series. And actually, I think I have, I think it's a Delta. It's the one with like the tan paper, which I do like it. I've sketched and used some light watercolor in that one. I do like it, but I definitely wanted something that was good for watercolor. And I also wanted something kind of small. So I was very tempted to buy the Etcher Perfect sketchbook, but it was like $40 and I just wasn't hundred percent sure what I wanted it for. So I ended up going with this one and it does say that it is a smooth surface paper. So I'm a little curious as to how the watercolor will take to this paper. Um, but I was really wanting something that was hundred percent cotton. This is not, or at least it doesn't say that it is. I did not get any, uh, sketchbooks or paper that were hundred percent cotton. I just, to be honest, I was going to get some more of the, is it aquarelle paper? but I just have so much paper and I kind of want to use what I have before I go and buy more, even though I just bought two sketchbooks. So the other one that I got is this little Hannah Mule, Hannah Mule. I'm not sure exactly how you'd say that, but it's just a sketchbook. It's not for any wet media or anything. And it was cute. It was small. I've been wanting like a little sketchbook to kind of take on the road with me, but I was originally thinking a little bit bigger, but I saw this one and it was really cute and small. And I've not actually used this brand of paper, I don't think before. So we're gonna give this one a try. Then I also picked up three new watercolor colors from Windsor & Newton. I do have a bunch, but I wanted like some more pinks. I have a lot of greens, I have a lot of blues. And I have quite a few browns, so I picked up some more like pink tone colors and another yellow. So I grabbed raw sienna and I grabbed brown matter and I grabbed rose jour. So those are the only three I grabbed. I am going to add them to my collection, to my palette. I'm kind of thinking I want to create like a smaller uh, watercolor palette to kind of take out with me, hence picking up the little sketchbook that is good for watercolor. So that was kind of the thought process there. I was going to grab um, like a tin, like one of the folding tins to make a palette out of, but 
it was like 16 or 17 dollars and i just looked it up really quick on amazon because i thought they might be cheaper there and they're they're all the same thing so it was only nine dollars or ten dollars on amazon so i did not grab that while i was there the next things i grabbed that i had seen a while ago and were on my list of things that i really want to try um which was something i was thinking i could use the gift card for because you know new art supplies why not but um i i grabbed the karen dash what are they the karen dash neo color to aqua aquarelle i saw somebody using these on instagram and i was like "Ooh, i want to try those so i found them in the store and i wanted to get like a little set like they had the small set but it was all like your basic primary colors and like just basic colors and i wanted something a little more specific to me so i grabbed six because they were a little bit cheaper if you grab six or six or more um, so I did, I did pick up six and this one is dark olive, a burnt sienna, a Van Dyke brown, salmon pink, golden ochre. So that's this one. So I thought it was a nice little mix of colors. You know, I love to paint like flowers and stuff like that. So I made sure to get some green, some pink. I love browns and the purple. I don't know. I just kind of wanted to have something other than pink. <laughs> Um, yeah, so these are the colors. We'll have to try those out really soon because I'm anxious to see how they work. And that's really it. I also picked up this little a palette knife for my acrylic painting. I really want to try and do a painting with a palette knife. So I grabbed a nice one to inspire me to do it. And I grabbed this little rainbow colored pencil for my daughter because you know, she's four, she's going to love it. And then also I picked up two packages of these cards. They're like kind of a beige-ish pink tone. I'm not sure if you can tell on the camera, but there is 10 inside and I'm going to use these for my greeting cards. I kind of want to try and do more block print items in my shop. So I do love it. I, I really want to carve some more. I have a few ideas and I, I've been kind of go, going over like a process in my head of what I want to sell versus all of the things that I do sell because I do have a lot, right? I have so many ideas and I always think like, Ooh, I could sell this. I could do that. I love making this. I love doing that. And I do, but I know from a business standpoint, I should not do everything, right? Like it has happened where people were like so undecided that they just didn't buy something. And I think if I narrow it down and I think honestly, this past event that I just did over the weekend kind of proved it to me, right? Like I didn't have very many options. Like I did have my options, but it wasn't in your face. Look at all of this stuff kind of options. It was you know, very narrowed down. All the art prints were together and we still did well. People were still very interested. And I think I just need to kind of, for me mentally and for like a business standpoint, I think I need to like narrow down what it is that I'm going to sell. So that was kind of, if you saw my Etsy update, I kind of changed the wording on my signage a little bit to be like art and stationary because I do love selling art prints, but I also really love like the bookmarks and I just ordered those notepads and I'm hoping they come out really good because I just, I love that kind of stuff. Like pencils and paper. Mm, I love it. So <laughs> I don't know why, but I just do. My daughter was playing with my husband last night and he like set up this whole thing in his music room and she just wanted to draw on a piece of paper. And I'm like, eh, sorry, that's my girl. Yeah. yeah so I kind of want to maybe steer in that direction. Like I do have my block print journals, sorry, battery died. But anyway, to sum it up, I'm just trying to figure out the direction of the products and things that I want to go. And long story short, I got some of these, <laughs> there is 10 in a pack and I'm going to use them as block print cards. This way the cards are all, you know, individual and individually made and 
things like that. So, um, that's what I got. I am going to go eat some lunch now. I got to go get my little girl and, and then we've got a busy night, homecoming weekend. So I will catch you guys in a bit. You guys, it is such a beautiful fall day outside today. The weather is like still warm, but there's a nice beautiful breeze and it's just like gently letting all the leaves fall off the trees. and <laughs> Everything is changing colors. It is so, so nice. So I pulled over while I was out earlier and stopped at like this little park and took a few shots to show you guys just how gorgeous it is out here right now. But anyways, so yesterday I, I went to Ikea really quickly. I actually went there to return some curtains, but their return systems were down. So I still now have these curtains that I can't use. But anyway, so I wanted to look around also and just kind of see if I had any ideas for my displays. So I picked up just a couple of things that I'm going to show you really quickly that I have some ideas for. So first, pasta. So I ended up getting two of these bamboo bins. I know I have so many bins in my office already, but again, they can double as storage and be put nicely on the shelf and still look really, really nice. And the size on this one, so the darker color, I think I had a clip of it. They had a bigger size, which would have been so nice for my eight by tens because some of them are landscapes. So it would have been nice to have them um, be able to fit in there, but they did not have that in this color. And I just could not bring myself to get like such a darker wood. So I just got two of these and I was just gonna say the sizing on this is six and a quarter by nine and a half. So I could still put the eight by tens in here. They would all just have to go vertically, but it could still work. So I have two of these. I'm going to play with them, see how they work out dish towels. I did grab two of these boards, these like peg boards. I have an idea that I could maybe attach some wood to the back and make like a stand out of it. I am still not a hundred percent if I'm going to keep this idea. I got them in black because I thought the colored prints would like contrast nicely. And even like the white cards and prints and stuff would um, look nice on this. And I really love the wood color. I have one obviously right here, but they didn't have these to match. So I was like debating, do I do like this with the black or... Do I get all black? I'm still not sure that I've made the right decision, but I also was thinking I could test these out on here. And I grabbed these, I grabbed eight of them. They like hook on and they have these like little hooks, but also I feel like it would be super easy. I don't have anything to stick in it right now, but <laughs> nothing at hand. Um, but I also thought it would be really easy to just rest the prints in them because they have like this opening here, but also you could hang things off of here like bookmarks, or I have those hand painted wooden ornaments, wall decor things that I could even hang off of these if I wanted to. So I thought it was kind of a versatile option, but was it the correct option? I don't know. Oh, and I also just grabbed a couple of these little hooks, like little, I don't know if you can see them in there, but 
um, just little hooks to hang off of it to also hang because these don't actually take up the whole width of the board. So I was thinking I could have a few extra hooks to maybe hang things on the in-between um, where there's like a little bit of space. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I think I might clear this off and just kind of put these on and kind of see what can fit on it because these are the same size. And then we will have to go to Lowe's or Home Depot and try to get some wood to make them stand on their own. I don't know that these will be any better outside. I'm thinking maybe with the holes in them, wind will pass through them, <laughs> but also it will hit against the prints as well. So I don't know. I'm not sure. But again, I could always use a little string like I've always done, which does work. So we'll see. We're going to play with this probably in my next video because I have a holiday market coming up and we're going to be prepping for that. But my lunch is ready. I'm going to go eat that now. I made a smoothie in my cute cup. And then I want to make a pair of earrings. I need like everyday earrings. I have these, but I only just got these. But I had prior to getting these bought little like moon charms. They're like little black moons and some little hooks. So I want to just make them myself because I hadn't been able to find earrings that I liked for every day to just pop in quickly that kind of go with everything. And I also got this cup. I have used it a few times already, but I got this cup with the intention to put my logo on it. So whenever I order my transfers for my tumblers, there's always like a little bit of extra space and I always fill it up <laughs> with like my logo or whatever. This way I can use it in the future if I want to. So I was thinking in this last order that I actually just got, I have some that are just like the flower of my logo and then maybe I can just put the name on the other side or do I do the whole thing? I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do the flower on one side and River Lily Studio on the other. So we're going to make that in a little bit and I think that's it for now. I also I'm waiting for a package to come today and it has my new greeting cards and my new bookmarks for my winter collection. And I did just get in the transfers for that. And I also got in a new item that I'm super excited to share because they came out really cute. I've already opened them, but I will share those with you guys in just a little bit because I don't have the bookmarks and the cards yet. So I'm trying to wait for those to come in so I can just show you everything all together. But that's what's coming and I will check in with you guys in a bit. All right, so we finished the tumbler. It came out really cute. I think you probably saw when I was making it, this peeled off actually. So I'm kind of wondering how this will hold up on this cup because it is a like super, super slightly textured. You can't really see it on the camera, but it does have a little tiny bit of texture. So it's not as smooth as the glass tumblers because I feel like that would never happen on the glass tumblers. It is once you've stuck it, you've stuck it. There is no going back. So I'm a little curious how this is going to hold up, but it seems good for now. And we'll just have to, we'll have to see, but 
so cute. <laughs> okay. And then also we just really quickly made these earrings I showed you. Super, super fast, easy thing to do. If you have like small pliers, this is such an easy thing. If you are ever in, I got Hobby Lobby is where I got these little moons from and actually the earring pieces. So if you're ever in there and you see ones that you like, literally took me like four minutes and that was because I accidentally put them on backwards. So you, <laughs> you couldn't see like the texture. So that is it for right now. My box did not come in yet, but once it does, I will show you guys everything that I've got. All right. Everything has been delivered at this point, so we can get to work with prepping for this upcoming holiday market that I've got, but we're not going to do that in this video, but I did just want to share with you everything that came in and kind of what I'm going to be working on. So I'm super excited because everything looks really good. And let me just, let me just show you. So I'll start with these two bookmarks and pretty much everything is going to have like these little fox and the bow design. I created them as sort of like the winter collection. So and this is the bookmark design. These came out really cute. I can't wait to laminate them. Again, I'm not sure if I'll do a tassel on these. I may or may not. I still haven't decided what I like better. So I don't think the color tassel that I have would go well with this. I think maybe like a more silvery or grayish tone or even like a white tassel. But I don't want to do white. I feel like that's too much. I don't know. I'll see what I can find if I could find a nice one to go along with these, but we'll see. I'm not 100% if we're going to tassel them, but we are definitely going to laminate them, cut them, and all the good stuff. And then I also made these two greeting cards. They are blank inside, but again, same design with the bow and the fox, just slightly different. I altered everything a little bit so that not everything was exactly the same, but all flows together. And here is the little sleepy fox. Again, I have the white floral down here. It's a little hard to see on the camera, but it is there. And then just my logo on the back, blank inside. So that's those two. I might make some sets out of these. Maybe I'll do like six cards and three of each and have them as like a little set for the winter. And then super excited this is something new that i had made and i've been thinking about for a little while i think i've mentioned it the notepads and they finally came in and they're so cute guys i love them they are i knew the size when i ordered it the measurements they were clearly there but for some reason i expected them to be slightly bigger but oh they're so cute i love them and this one just has a little bow on the top the little florals in the corners and then this one has the florals in the corners and the little sleepy fox at the bottom. So very, very cute. I left them blank so they could kind of be like for anything. I didn't want them to be specifically like to-do lists or anything like that. I thought if they were blank, they were way more versatile. So that's these. I love them. I love them. And I think with packaging for these, I'm just going to get like a craft paper. I have that I've used in the past, like the craft paper bands, and I'm going to stamp them with my logo. And I may actually put my stamp on the back of each of them also. So we'll do that. And then the tumbler designs came in. So they're a little squished together, but like here's one you can see the fox tumbler would be all of this here. And then the bow would be, there's like a little, you can't see it cause it's like white on white, but there's the little flower design and then it would cut off here and come around there. So I got a bunch of those, a bunch of these. And then, like I was saying yesterday, I just filled in all the empty space with all, <laughs> all these little things just to, just to fill the space, right? Cause we're paying for it. So that is, that is all these. That's all that's on this roll is just the two tumblers. I think I have seven of each. So We'll have to order, I have to order the glasses to actually make these. I've been holding off on doing my nails. Sorry for the atrocious nails in this video, but when I have to peel them and stuff, it just destroys my manicure. So I'm kind of on the in-between and I have really cute ones for Halloween and I don't want to put them on until I do these. So we're probably going to take care of that first so we can do our nails. But anyway, 
And then for the shirts, the sweatshirts, actually I have one that I already made. I think I showed you guys already, but I'll show you again really quick, just in the spirit of going through everything. So this is the sweatshirt. It has the little fox on it, a little close up here. It has this little sleeve detail, which on mine I did on the inside, but I think this time I'm going to do it on the outside of the sleeve just to make it a little different from our ghost sweatshirts. So yeah, that's it. These are really soft inside. I, I switched, I'm not using Gildan. Um, I like these a little better. They are a little more like, they're not as stiff. I really love them. I have a couple of them now. I have my ghost and then I ordered that pink one that I put my logo on and I really, really like them. So I'm probably going to stick with this brand unless I have any issues. And yeah, I think that's it. So I'm going to end this video here. In my next video, I'm going to prep for this two-day market. It is a two-day market. So lots of work to do. I'm thinking about maybe doing gift boxes. Um, I'm still kind of rolling through the idea in my head as to how it would work and what I would put in them. I am kind of wishing I did stickers with these designs on them. And then I could have like curated the box that everything kind of goes together, like put in like a bookmark, a notepad, a sticker, maybe a greeting card, um, and then like an art print. But I obviously didn't make art prints of them either just because they're too specific and I'm not sure that they would... I would sell them. I kind of made the mistake with the ghost art prints, whereas I did sell a couple, but not enough that I should have printed them. So I, I'm still kind of rolling through the idea, but then I was thinking about maybe just doing gift boxes with like all the stuff that I do have, like all my florals and everything that does kind of go together. The only thing is I don't have a notepad for florals. So I kind of wish I did, which I probably will in the future because now that I know these came out really cute, but also I think like a mix and match of things isn't a terrible thing either. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Or if you think yeah, I shouldn't do that, <laughs> let me know your thoughts. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.